So last year I bought a cordless handheld drill machine like this one from Lidl. Link in the description around here. Anyway, I was pretty pleased uh, with that particular device uh, and I gave it a generally favorable review only to have it break down on me. I, I've, um, fortunately, I managed to return it to Lidl and get my full budget reimbursed, but I didn't get to make a follow-up review and tell you what went wrong with it. Uh, but this year I bought an improved model, which is this one. It's still a Parkside, but uh, a PSB SAP20 LIB3 bare unit because it doesn't have a charger or a battery. Those are right here and for this machine I'm supposed to get a 4 amp uh, power battery kit but I could only find the 2 amp and the 8 amp and now given that the 8 amp uh, battery is far too heavy to uh, use one-handed, I went for the 2 amp uh, unit, which is also cheaper. Now that's either incredibly <laughs> smart and shrewd of me or incredibly stupid. That remains to be seen, so I will, um, I will, I can be held responsible for that uh, particular uh, purchase decision. Anyway, I digress, those are unimportant uh, uh, aspects. What you want to see first is to uh, witness an unboxing video. So here we go. Here is the battery. Now this one is the PAP20B1 battery with a PLG20C1 charger. Now let me just try to open this thing up. I have a set of pliers here. Now the best tool for breaking adhesive duct tape but there we go. Here's the battery. Now I haven't opened it until now. Here is the charger unit and here is the actual battery itself. Am I gonna say battery a lot more? I don't know. So it's pretty heavy and thick but I'll get to the handheld and maneuverability uh, later on in the video. You just connect it like this I suppose. Yeah does sort of have a click-in function and this cable you just connected well, to a power outlet. And now that we've seen the battery, let's move on to the cordless screwdriver itself, which is right here. And let's try to open this box up as well. Now this is going to be fairly difficult. I am filming with my phone and uh, actually the layout, even though it looks okay with this matte black finish, is just a simple IKEA table. So yeah, and the lighting as well is moving. Sorry about that, but you get the gist of it. Um, it's This is one of those bare bones videos, nothing really interesting or out of the ordinary in terms of production values. So there we go, the park side screwdriver. Now this is supposed to be an improved model with higher torque, longer motor life and higher impact rate and also a five year warranty which is pretty nifty by the way. The battery had a three year warranty which again is fairly impressive. Okay, so let's get this thing out of the box. I like the case. It's, well, it's looking rather uh, professional, isn't it? With this uh, nice, uh, I believe this is 2K in mold. So there's two different materials d uh, injected. Don't ask, I'm in the plastic injection industry. Um, I like the case, the, this uh, carrying uh, briefcase model. It's very professional, much, uh, much nicer than the previous budget-oriented uh, device. 
Okay, so I managed to break the seal without breaking either the table or the box itself. So let's just open this thing up and see what we're dealing with. Now, my main concern about this device is that it's pretty heavy. And yeah, from what I see, it's not light in the hand, not light at all, but it's looking rather nice. Let me just try to attach the battery, I believe like so. Ooh, yeah, that felt manly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know what I'm doing. I've I've forgotten my previous experience with the with the, my previous cordless uh, drill. So actually, I'm all new to this one. I'm seeing it for the first time as you are right now. But on the plus side, the the outer fit and finish, the quality is improved and everything smells like, well, new plastic and new motors. And, well, honestly, I'm quite astonished at the quality feel of this device. It, it might be just the fact that it's heavy in the hand and it exudes a precision quality and sturdiness, but... It might just be that this is a good device after all. What I propose right now is that we find out in, a, I don't know, a couple of tests. I'll figure them out as we go along. Okay, so I seem to have managed to properly fix this uh, bit into place. Let's try to screw something in this piece of wood and hopefully I will not scratch the table though I think I should ha have uh, some protection ready and I'll just use this generic mouse pad for that so let me try to take one screw and just easily align the tip try to screw something in So I guess I am going to stop right now because I'm making too much of a ruckus. I wasn't that inspired with this video. But as you can see, uh, even when holding the camera with one hand or at least trying not to move it and holding the uh, screwdriver one-handed and with a generic um, bit and also a generic screw, I have managed to fix the wood correctly, fix it in place or whatever you want to call it, to screw in the this screw. Now, um, granted, I haven't made too much of a penetration. Yeah, it sounds dirty, but it's actually not. Though I, I promise you and I assure you, this is just for my... <laughs> my neighbor's well-being. I don't want to uh, disturb them, bother them in the middle of the night. Maybe I will get to uh, place some clip and post showing you how this thing works in real life. Now, uh, what I wanted to get to really is the price because uh, I paid for the screwdriver alone. I paid 250 lei and that is the equivalent of about uh, 50 euros, which is great value considering this should be a high performance model and it comes with a five year warranty. Yes, you heard that right. So Lidl is actually uh, taking into consideration replacing or repairing your Parkside screwdriver uh, within a five year period provided that you use it uh, according to the specification and specifications and instructions. Now the battery itself 
uh, only has a three year warranty and it's not really the correct um, specification for this particular uh, screwdriver mostly because it's a low capacity for such a high output uh, tool and the bits themselves even though I've bought them previous uh, prior to this to purchasing this screwdriver they were only about um, five or six euros but they're not that great because you can see some of them have uh, already uh, begun to deteriorate from screwing in several um, screws so they don't work that well but they work well enough for what they're intended home use appliance use and so on this screwdriver though is a bit of the on a performance side of things but it should not be considered a uh, an everyday six hour a day uh, job site tool on um, you know the type that professionals use this should be used if you want to tackle projects like building a gazebo or trying to you know to work uh, around the house more extensively but mainly mainly to repair stuff and well I guess I'm ranting on uh, right about now and this should be a good moment to mention that well I do uh, fool around with tools I call this thing tooling around and well yeah, I genuinely hope that you have found this video a bit informative and interesting um, and well thank you for uh, your views and remember I mostly buy useless obsolete quirky tech stuff but sometimes I give relevant um, consumer advice so you can choose uh, the correct uh, product. Thanks for watching and see you in the next clip. Bye bye.